G'day everyone, another couple of tech tips for you. One relates to the DC charging capabilities of our BP35 range. Now it all depends obviously upon how your car's been set up and how it's all been wired, but at the moment, this doesn't, in most scenarios that have been wired that we see, people will give us a phone call and they go, I've been driving for six hours and I've only managed to get another 10 or 20% on my battery. Why is that? Because most of the vehicles out there these days have got a smart alternator. And what that means is that smart alternator will shut down or it'll limit the amount of power that it puts out if it's not required for charging the electronics in the vehicle. What we do though is we put in a DC-DC charger. So the Mini Boost Pro is specifically designed to partner with the BP35 range or our J35 range and to be able to provide a boost charge from the car's alternator back down to beside the battery. So this is then wired directly back through the auxiliary ports, which we've got here on our BP35. And as the voltage on the alternator drops off, this will boost it back up to a useful voltage for the battery in which to be able to charge itself. So with this, you can get up to 22 amps just charging from your car. You can get up to 30 amps if you're charging from solar. In fact, you can be charging from both at the same time. So if you want to charge from solar and from your car, you'll get the Mini Boost Pro will deliver for you up to 30 amps of input back into your battery at any one time. That's a fair amount of grunt. So you're pretty much going to make sure that you're going to end up at the campsite with a fully charged battery. So out there in Techland, so for people, this is for you guys, if people are coming in and saying, oh, my charge is not giving anything on auxiliary, get their car properly wired up to be able to run with a mini boost. It goes down the back, doesn't go under the bonnet, goes down the back actually in the caravan. Wire that up through an Anderson connector through their car with some decent, uh, decent um, square millimeter cable and then run it through the mini boost. You can still, as I say, run the solar panels as well and you'll get between 22 to 30 amps depending upon your setup. That way they'll always make sure, especially if they're moving around a bit, they'll always make sure that they've got enough power.